Before we start the reaction video, always remember to support the original content creator by using the links in the description below. Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Axel Grave back with more reactions with the next today, continuing off on all of our great, uh, you know, what's the word? Uh, I actually switched that one earlier than I should have. Uh, Red vs. Blue Season 9. Sorry, I just got totally distracted. I've been watching a bunch of these in a row and I'm getting kind of tired. But yeah, we're getting ready for the last set of them. Uh, and we're going to be doing those and having fun. Remember to support Rooster Teeth and Red vs. Blue using the links in the description below. If you enjoyed, remember to like, critique, or compliment us in the comment section. And uh, subscribe if you want to more, see more stuff. Uh, we, you can check out early stuff at patreon.com slash 3D. I know I'm supposed to make the intro for this and I've just been super lazy. I'll probably have it for videos coming out in October, but no sooner. So if you're seeing this or watching this live, you know that's a long time away and that's just because of how far ahead we work. But we're working on it. We're working on new intros for everything, new outros for everything, all that great stuff. Uh, without further ado, we won't even give the Patreon spiel. We'll just say our Patreon's the best. Thank you guys so much. And uh, you can check out the link in the description below. Let's go ahead and do this and uh, get it done. There we go. Ah yes, the epic fight. And then she protected him with that, like, stuff. Although I wonder if it would have been better to cover it, but then again it would have just exploded. And sent out shrapnel. Sacrificed him? Locked down Hartford's the armor. She probably saved his life. Quick thinking. Yeah. Really quick. Everyone, stand down. Now she's in lockdown. Oh you wow. Be ashamed of yourself. Look at him. I didn't I forgot you got to see what he looked like. They use live ammunition on the floor, sir. That's against regulation. Do you think our enemies will care about regulations on the battlefield, Agent Washington? So you're not punishing them? Ingenuity and adaptability are admirable traits. You should all learn something from this. Dismissed. Yeah. You should learn something, all right. I can't believe this. Don't forget to check your place on that list, Wash. Flashbang. I hope so. Caboose, are you dead? I hope so. I think it was a flashbang. I can't see. What? Well, it's a good name because it definitely went flash and bang. What? Oh my god. Are we under attack? Is it the rents? I don't know. I can't see anything either. My mother always said I would go blind, but for a totally different reason. What? Caboose, stop saying what you can't hear. Can of beer. Can of beer. You're deaf. Oh no. I had so much to nipple! Not no, dead, deaf. <laughs> what was that? Something just hit me! Something just hit me too! Is it another grenade? We're near attack! Open fire! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> I was shooting each other. Oh god. Bunch of idiots. Gosh, he looks so weird. In that new different style. He's like, please let me investigate, you fucking idiots. Yeah, okay, buddy, whatever you say. Hey, you missed a spot. At least we'll all die with a clean vehicle. Ah! <laughs> you said it. Now come on, chop chop. Back to work, buddy. Let's hear the less talk I don't understand and see more work I don't want to do. How's it going out here? Wow. Great. The Jeep has never been so good. That's like the American motto right there. Good point. You know, Sarge, all this time the laziness in me, it's been really underutilized. I never reached my full potential. I just realized I should be in management. It does seem like a natural. It's the best job ever. You just tell people what to do, and they do it. And if you don't have anything for them to do, you just tell them to do something they did before, but do it better this time. Oh, wow. And we'll figure it out. How about you get busy helping with that Jeep then? I'm sorry, what? I'm on break. <laughs> come in, Lopez. Lopez, come in. Oh, no, he's going to try to take him out. Channel, Lulang. This is Flying Eagle. I have a secret mission for you. Bueno de la guía. Actually, it's Simmons. We're using code names on this mission, Lopez, because it's top secret. Por qué no puedo obtener un nombre un clave? I need you to come to the cave and investigate something. It's top secret. 
Don't tell Sarge, or Griff, or Dona, or anyone else I didn't mention. Usted podría tener solo dijo, no le digas a nadie. Okay, see you in the cave. Come alone, and unarmed. You can also come in with your eyes closed if you want. For secrets. Esto para se sospechoso. Yes, it is an honor to be selected. You are right. Flying Eagle out. He just walks back. Why was I shipped here? Flying Eagle? Where are you, Flying the Eagle? Lopez will walk into the water, which I've electrified using A, this battery, and B, my incredible knowledge of how batteries work. The resulting shock will short him out, and all the guys will see that I'm the funny smart one who's good at math and not having emotions. They'll see. Hola. Oh, hi, Lopez. I was just down here investigating our mission. Hey, why don't you come over here, through that big puddle? No. I heard you say you like No tengo ni idea por qué los humanos necesitan para hablar voz alta. You got a good point. I don't know why we do it. Over here. No, usted está tratando de He's going to damage me. This way. Just walk into that puddle. I mean, the regular puddle. The one that's not, you know. You know what? Just forget I mentioned the puddle. No puddle there. That's dry. Optical illusion. Not dry. Soy muy malos Very eres. bad at Please, this. Come on. Me limitar a dar la vuelta. Veo I see another way in. in. What? No! Wait! Dios mío. Oh, Lord. No breaks for you. Forgive only me. only working, Lopez. Alright. Episode 12, oh, mid-game substitution. What, uh, what? Am I dead? See my body? Am I in heaven? Estoy tomando oh wow. El equipo rojo. <sighs> Why is my body speaking Spanish? Oh no. Did I go to Mexican heaven by mistake? Oh wow. Why people hell? No. Oh my god. Oh my god. usted es la única manera de que yo puedo tener acceso al equipo. I knew it. Lopez saved the day. My place. Yo no tendría que ser super popular para hacer que no nope. gonna regret this Lopez. No veo como well, oh, I don't regret. see how that didn't even I make do sense. Understand. How does more brakes <laughs> make us more efficient? It's simple. If we have less hours to do work, we get more done in less time. It's all ratios. Hola. Where in Sam Hell have you been? Cueva Studio. You sound weird. Yeah. Almost like he's speaking a foreign language. <laughs> but he's speaking very slowly and clearly, so I understand what he means. Me too. What have you been up to? Las cosas humans como de costumbre yunar y tener problemas de matemáticas mal sin razón alguna. Sounds boring. I didn't understand that one. Me neither. But boring is always a safe double sentence. Pero mi disculpe, tengo que ver algunos equipos. Okay. Bye, Simmons. Good luck on whatever you're doing. Gracias. Oh, man. Instead of a big white blur, now everything's just a big black blur. Man, my edge had only heard this much if I had a lot more fun the night before. What? Ow, Caboose, stop yelling. Someone give me an aspirin. You guys are babies. Babies? You chucked a grenade at us, you stupid bitch. What do you expect? Hey, there's a big difference between a flashbang and a grenade. Doesn't seem like it. Well, if I threw a grenade at you, I wouldn't have to have this stupid conversation <laughs> right now. I would just be stepping over some disgusting puddles. This is your girlfriend, I take it? Oh, yeah. Tucker, text, text, Tucker. What's up? Hello. Are people meeting other people? I want to meet people. No, you don't. And stop yelling. Nice to meet you, Mr. Yelling. Yeah, why no. would you attack us? Weren't you coming all the way out here to help us? Hey, I needed to evaluate the situation. I heard someone was dead. I show up here, and three idiots are standing around arguing. I'm not walking into that blind. So you made us blind. Oh, boo-hoo. It's not lethal. So what? That's what? That's supposed to make us feel better? A kick in the balls would be non-lethal, too. That depends on who does the kicking. Is that a threat? <laughs> How about we just call it an experiment? See what happens. How about we agree to disagree? Good idea. So... Who's dead? Oh, nobody. We just made a mistake. We thought... Uh, we thought we should bury our dead teammate and then take his name off the roster 
so that no one can prove he was never here. We did? Yes, because that's what she is here to investigate, Tucker. And if that guy didn't exist, why would she stick around? Oh, right. Yeah, I thought she meant some other non-existent guy who didn't die. Not the one guy who did die. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Why did you remove him from the roster? Uh, I don't know. Seemed appropriate at the time. You know, it's like a respect thing. What was his name? Anderson Smith. Well, was it Anderson or Smith? Uh, Ander Smith. Private Ander Smith. Ander Smith? Oh, Mr. Ander Smith. I'll always miss you. You were too young to die. Yeah, he was like, I don't know about that. Oh, shut <laughs> up, Tucker. Get an awful hey, crap. Tucker, do you anything or yeah, say we're anything. Yeah, equipment together. Together? Yeah, he went up the hill. He said he needed my help. So I said, no problem. I'll be there in a few minutes. When was that? About five hours ago. Oh. Wow. So how is the project going? Well, he hasn't asked for help again, which means I haven't had to think of a new excuse. So I'd say it's going great. What's he yeah, doing? Yeah, in his book. He's got some new toys or something up there. I guess he's testing them out. Toys? Yeah. Toys is a broad term, Griff. It can mean a lot of things. Oh, Gadgets wow. Go on. Electronic devices. I think I'll go check this out for myself. Oh, my then. God. I can just wriggle free yeah, a not. little. Maybe I can... Love how they just have this, the old there, I'm free. Now to take my place on red team again. Man, Lopez was right. I do say my thoughts out loud a lot. I wonder why I do that. I'm still doing it. I really should try to stop. Okay, that was the last one. Hey, I did it. No, I'm Man, do you read me? This is Freelancer Tex reporting. So in. dumb. Roger that, Senorita. We read you loud and clear. Oh wow, this guy. Okay, I just need to make sure she sticks around. It's been a minute since we, we heard from him. What was it? Gary? And investigating this dead guy? It's gonna be a good distraction. It doesn't bother you that you made up a guy out of nowhere and then killed that guy just to have a chance to talk to your girlfriend. No, no, no. It's like a net, uh, whatever you call it. It's, it's even. You know, he didn't exist before and he doesn't exist now. No harm, no foul, right? Dude, you seriously gotta look into this stalker thing. I miss him. You miss who? Major Smith. He's a reminder of how close we all are just to not being here one day. He wasn't here any days, idiot. He doesn't exist. Oh, how can oh, you say wow. that? Don't you believe in the afterlife? What? Afterlife implies life at some point. He didn't have one. Because he was so young, he had hopes and dreams. He was a dream. Yes, he was. To all of us who knew him. Okay, I'm actually less worried about you now, and I'm more worried about Caboose. Caboose. He didn't oh, exist. Caboose. You never knew anyone named Anders Smith. None of us did. Denial is an important stage in Green Bay. Yeah, apparently denial is an important part of reality, too. Yeah, take it from the guy who calls that chick his girlfriend. Roger that. Over and out, command. Oh shit, she's done with her call. Quick, uh, talk about something else. Um, like what? Anything, anything. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, you know what? Uh, I think you're right, Tucker. Cows can't talk. But maybe oh, wow. they can't talk because just no one ever taught them how to do that. Right? That might have been the worst ad lib ever. You just blew my mind with the cow thing. That ain't hard. Wow. Alright, here's the deal. I'm gonna stick around until we get this dead guy thing solved. Oh, really? Well, that's great. Isn't that perfect, Tucker? Don't gloat. It's Miss Gary. I have a question. Um, how are we going to fix the dead guy being dead? Oh, we're not. We're gonna even the teams. Come on, let's go up the hill and kill one of the Reds. Then I can get out of this mud puddle. Oh. Hey, I'll even let you pick which one. Come on, let's go. <laughs> well, this sounds like... fun? Let's pack a picnic. We can always just eat the Red we kill. Hey, Church, pick the fat guy. Oh, wow. <laughs> As always, guys, it was a lot of fun watching that. That was really funny. Uh, I'm going to get on to the next one. Because uh, I think an hour and a half isn't too bad for this. And uh, I want to do another session later tonight, whether it be Pokemon or I might do Pokemon and Reactions, but I need a break. Sometimes these hour and a half sitting down, especially when I haven't eaten or drank enough water, just gets me really tired. I start passing out during the reactions, and I'm sure you guys don't want that. As always, remember to support Rooster Teeth and Red vs. Blue. This has been Season 9, Episode 11 and 12, and it was super fun to watch. I hope to catch you next time on Reactions with an X.